Nick here today. I'll be showing you how to make macOS Catalina look like macOS Big Sur. Now I, be, I may be in the minority when it comes to this, but I actually like the Big Sur icons, and I don't have a Mac that can actually run Big Sur. I'm using a mid-2012 Mac Mini right now. Once I put an SSD and RAM in it, I'm probably going to try to patch it onto Big Sur, but until I do, I actually wanted the look of Big Sur on Catalina. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to do that, which it actually is pretty easy. Now, you need you do need to do one thing before you actually like start downloading stuff, and never mind that. But uh, you will need to in, in, uh, <laughs> turn off system integrity protection. Now, that may sound like, oh, whoa, my computer is going to be screwed if I do that. and It's not. Trust me, it, it doesn't really do anything. I think it just... It has something to do with like the booting process and doesn't really do anything else. And I think it just allows the the uh, terminal file to change the app icons. So you'll need to do that before starting this video. So I guess like find a video on it, you know. <laughs> so you'll need to go to your browser and click on the link that I put in the description. Big Sur icons for Catalina by Doc System. And all you'll need to do is click download and click download zip. And as you can see, it's basically done. So we'll give this a moment here. Oh, it's not even done yet. It lied to me. We'll give that one moment here. And oh, wow, it doesn't even know how much it's downloading. So we'll just give that a moment here. It should not be that big from what I remember. But uh, this actually is, let me explain how this works while it is downloading. Once this does download, we're just going to open a uh, terminal file. And then it'll ask you to put in your password and then it'll start adding all the icons. So once this downloads, you don't even need Safari, you just click this and open the folder that downloaded to your downloads folder. So we'll give this a second. Now my Mac Mini is still rocking a uh, mechanical hard drive, so it is kind of slow, <laughs> so forgive me. But uh, this is it. This is the, uh, the terminal command I was telling you about, and you just need to open it, either by double like left double-clicking or just right-clicking and then clicking open. Now it will give you this, now don't freak out because it's it does Apple does this with literally anything you download off the internet that isn't from them. <laughs> so all you'll need to do is click OK and open your system preferences. And then go to security and privacy, which again, mechanical hard drive. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> give this another moment here. And you need to go to, I believe, yeah, general, and then it'll say this right here, and you just click open anyway. And then, as you can see, that is opening terminal, and it says macOS cannot verify the developer. You still want to open it, you click open. <laughs> And this does not compromise, I believe, pretty sure it does not compromise the security of your computer because I did this on my mother's 2010 MacBook, which I patched it onto Catalina using the DOS Dude Patcher, and it works great. Like, I haven't had any issues with it since putting those icons on. But, as we can see here... So it says uh, system integrity protection needs to be disabled, which I've already done that, but it'll say that even if you like have it enabled or disabled. So then you'll need to put in your password. And as you can see, it's copying the files here, which this won't take that long. But as you can see, now it's applying the icons. Which should only take a moment. The applying did take a while for me. <laughs> So, I'll let that go. And as you can see, it's just applying everything, so I'll speed this part up.
So guys, one thing you may notice is that actually all of the, the drive icons look like Big Sur now. So they don't do just the applications, they actually do you know, all the icons for hard drives, external drives, time machine, backups, all that junk. If you go into Launchpad, you can actually see all of the ones that were changed, which basically all of them. You can see that everything has that Big Sur look now. You can see a Safari, Mail, Contacts, you know, all of these have uh, have the new look. And again, I may be in the minority when it comes to liking uh, Big Sur icons. I know a lot of people don't, <laughs> Logan, uh, but I think they look pretty good, and that's why I wanted them on my computer. So that's how to get Big Sur icons on Catalina. If you like the video, it uh, be pretty cool if you'd like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video.